Hi guys, welcome back to Free Automation Learning Channel and my name is Chirag. Today we are going to discuss about two topic in this APM grid series. But first is what is a grid and why we use APM grid. So let me start with what is a APM grid. As you can see on this given diagram, you can easily understand that there is a one hub, right? What is a grid? Grid is a concept of a hub and node. So in this diagram, it is shown clearly that there is a hub and there are two nodes. First node is Dennis PC and, do, uh, and second node is Fred PC. And in these two nodes, there are multiples Android devices are connected, right? So all this structure and all this uh, you can say structure is given by grid grid is a concept of hub and node right hub is a center where all the node is connected to the hub right and how we can connect the hub and uh, how we can start hub and how we can connect the node to the hub we will discuss in next video but in this video you just understand what is a apm grid APM grid means there is a hub which we have to start and we have to create a multiple nodes. How many number of nodes? It depends on our execution, right? If there are a number of uh, devices on which we have to execute our mobile test scripts, so we need to run, uh, we need to create multiple nodes and it's uh, you can say it it is only depends on the project requirement but there should be one hub and there should be multiples of nodes right so all this infrastructure and all this structure is known as a apm grid apm grid is same as a selenium grid in selenium grid we also a hub and node concept but un and but in selenium grids we just run our test script on multiple platform like that uh, Linux machine, Mac machine, Windows, different version, different Firefox version. On APM, we, uh, we do the same thing, but we uh, execute our mobile or test scripts on different Android version and screen different uh, Android screen size of uh, screen. So that's uh, my application works uh, on different screen and on different Android version and iOS version perfectly, right? So this is our first point and second point of this video is why we use APM grid, right? So as you can see on this diagram, it is shows uh, clearly that by using APM grid, we can run our test, test scripts or mobile test scripts parallelly. And there are two ways. Uh, the reason behind uh, to use it, this APM grid or Selenium grids are two. Either we have to run our test script parallelly on different Android version or, or different mobile devices or different iOS devices right or second if we need to uh, reduce our this execution time suppose these are 50 test cases or 100 test cases which we need to run and if i run on one mobile device it takes one hours but by using this apm grid i can distribute that 50 50 test case on two different mobile devices and it comes uh, uh, divided by 2 so if it takes 60 minutes now it is taking 30 minutes so we can reduce our execution time right first is the reason of um, using APM grid is this and another is if I need to run that 100 test cases on different is uh, mobile Android version so suppose I need to run on three different Android version so if I run one by one, if it take taking 60 minutes for one device, now it is taking 160 minutes, right? 
uh, if I run one by one. But if I use uh, this APM grid and run is parallel, then it takes only 60 minutes. So at this time, uh, we also reduce our time execution, right? So this is the reason behind uh, of why we are using APM grid or Selenium grid. And these are the theoretical part. And in this video, I just wanted to show you and show you or explain the basic concept of this APM grid. And in next video, we are going to discuss how we can set up APM grid. And thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like this video. And if you like this video, subscribe my channel. You can share my channel. You can share my video. And if you have any query, you can mail me. My email ID is free automation learning at the rate gmail.com. It is also displayed uh, at about section or you can comment under comment session. So thank you for watching this video. Bye bye. Check here.